Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. You know, the scripture says in the book of Hebrews that we need to draw near to God with a full assurance of faith and trust in Him. To draw near to Him. James says, draw near to Him and He will draw near to you. Have you ever had the experience in your life when there was something maybe between you and your spouse or you and a family member, you and a friend? Words had been said that were misunderstood or in anger and frustration, and as a result of that, there is a gap in your relationship. Well, sometimes it feels like that in our relationship with God, that there's a gap, that there's just something not connecting, that we're not close to Him. What might that be, and what can we do to close the gap? Well, I think the scripture teaches us a number of things. One is that we need to keep a real short account when it comes to sin in our life. That when we're rebelling against God, when we're choosing to do our own thing and go our own way, it is only natural that we are going to feel further and further away from God in our lives when we're not dealing with our own personal rebellion, our personal choosing to go our way against God. Not only can it be sin, but also it can be because we've not stayed in touch with them. That happens with our family and our relatives, doesn't it? I mean, it seems like maybe we haven't visited with them in a long time, haven't talked to them in months, and as a result of that, there seems to be a gap in our relationship. Well, it's the same way with God. That's why Paul tells us in Colossians that we ought to let the Word of God dwell in us richly. That's why Paul says in Thessalonians that we ought to pray to Him without ceasing. We ought to be in a constant awareness of His presence in our lives. And when we do read His Word, when we let His Word dwell in us, when we uh, pray, worship Him, it helps to close the gap. It helps us to get closer and closer to Him. Another thing I think that helps us is when we see other people around us, that we are seeing they have a close relationship with God. They've got an intimacy with God. What is it about their life that's different than my life? And what that ought to do is inspire us as well to close the gap, to keep a short account with sin, to stay in touch with Him, to not let bitterness and anger get into our lives that causes a gap, but no, to draw near to Him with a full assurance. The other day I was reading and I saw about an old song called Nothing Between, an old hymn sung many, many years ago. I looked up the words, some pretty powerful words. Basically the chorus is, nothing between me and my Savior, nothing between me and my Lord, nothing to create a gap between me and the one who loves me so. I pray that today, if there's a gap between you and Christ, a gap in your relationship, that you'll do everything you can today to draw near to Him, and He will draw near to you. God bless you. We'll see you next week.